Patriot IDEX and Navdex 2023. Today I'm just going to walk around the show floor and point out to some innovative and uh, interesting things on display. Starting with Fincantieri, who has a new submarine on display. Fincantieri, the shipbuilder from Italy, uh, unveiled that uh, IDEX and NAVDEX, uh, it's a, a new design, a light submarine design. It's called the S800 for 800 tons. Uh, I just uh, discussed with them. Uh, it's designed for shallow water and coastal water operations. So my guess is uh, since they're showcasing it here, it's uh, quite uh, well fitted for the navies in the Gulf region because of the shallow water here and uh, a few navies have uh, expressed interest in uh, such small submarine platforms. So the S-800 uh, submarine has a length of uh, 51 meters, a displacement of uh, 750 tons uh, surfaced. The submerged uh, displacement is 850 tons. It can dive to a maximum depth of uh, 250 meters underwater. Its uh, maximum speed is uh, over 15 knots. Uh, we were told that uh, in terms of weapon system, it can deploy regular heavyweight torpedo, so as used by other larger submarines. They also told us that uh, the S-800 will benefit from uh, the know-how from Fincantieri, that Fincantieri will gain in building the NFS near future submarine for the Italian Navy. So that's a next generation uh, submarine. And uh, they, have, they already have a number of uh, partners, uh, most of them Italians, uh, when it comes to the, the, the sensors on board, the weapon system and uh, the equipment on board. Uh, last but not least, uh, this will be an AIP, Air Independent uh, Propulsion Submarine. Leonardo of Italy is showcasing the Black Scorpion, very small torpedo. Uh, this is an actual size of full scale model, so that's the, the real the size of the real thing. It's a five inch torpedo. It can dive between uh, 30 to 200 meters in depth. Its speed is above 15 knots. Uh, we were told it is uh, designed to help with the classification of threats or to alarm threats. Uh, it can be deployed from UAV, from light aircraft, from uh, midget submarines, from UUVs, uh, probably from uh, swimmer delivery vehicles as well. And uh, Leonardo is basically showcasing it here at the event uh, because they are exploring possible partnerships with the local industries to integrate this system on uh, local platforms. Oh, look at that huge uh, gun system. I think that's the Gogdenes from uh, Azal Zone. Let's go check it out. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? Can you please uh, introduce yourself? My name is Umut Erdem Kılınç. Uh, I am the Naval Combat System Solution Manager for uh, surface ships and submarines. So, I believe this is called uh, Gogdenes by yep. Azal Zone? Yes. Can you tell us what it is? It is a naval gun system or a closing weapon system? Of course, yes. Gökten is, is uh, Aselsan's 35mm closing weapon system at uh, layered ship defense and air defense, utilizing 35mm airburst smart ammunition, which is called Atom, and is also developed by Aselsan. What is the current status of the program? Is it in production? Of course, yes, and it's delivered uh, in Turkey and uh, in our, for our international clients. I, uh, I believe uh, we learned at uh, Euronaval uh, a few months ago that uh, some ships uh, built in South Korea for uh, the Philippine Navy by Hyundai Aviation Industries uh, will receive this uh, gun system. We received that from uh, Hyundai Aviation Industries at, uh, at Euronaval. Uh, so, what are the capabilities of the gun? Can it intercept yeah. incoming anti-ship missiles, for example? The system is effective uh, against a large variety of target sets, including maneuverable anti-ship missiles, UAVs, aircraft, fast petrol boats, small boats, and even marine mines on the surface. 
system uh, has three configuration. One is with 3D surveillance radar and fire control radar on board. The second configuration is only with the fire control radar and third configuration with no onboard sensor. Uh, in this configuration system relies on the uh, sensors on the boat. Um, Umut, you have an interesting uh, ship model in the back. Can uh, we briefly walk and uh, you tell us about it? Yes. Thank you. All right, Umut, what is this model? This model is showcasing Aselsan systems from sensor to shooter, including our sensor to shooter capabilities. So we are on the booth of uh, Indonesian shipbuilder Pitipal with the CEO of Pitipal, Mr. Janod. Mr. Janod, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for welcoming us. Thank you for your time. I see behind you a very interesting uh, concept. It looks like unmanned submarine. Is, is that it? Yeah, we have also the research and development to develop uh, unmanned submarine for Indonesian Navy. But uh, because this is a very confidential uh, project, um, I cannot say anything. I cannot give you the information, but. I think the technology is the uh, same from technology from US, uh, from the France also have the technology for the unmanned submarines. I think the same technology for them. Very well. Thank you very much. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Merci. PT Power of Indonesia launched at Navdex 2023 this new Corvette design. It is 88 meters in length and uh, quite heavily armed. The company is also showcasing the scale model of an LPD landing platform dock. Uh, they would not confirm it to me, but according to open sources, uh, they are currently in negotiation with the UAE for one such vessel for the UAE Navy. It would significantly boost the amphibious warfare capability of the UAE Navy uh, because well, it's a fairly large ship for uh, a Navy of the, of the Gulf region uh, with several, like, at least three helicopter, helicopter spots and of course a, a well deck for the amphibious operations. CSSC of China is, uh, is uh, showcasing a number of unmanned systems, uh, like those two UUVs. Uh, I personally don't remember seeing them. Uh, UUV dash ISR, so I assume it's for uh, intelligence surveillance reconnaissance missions. They could be used for uh, mine warfare probably as well. There are three unmanned surface vessels. Uh, those are not uh, really new. We covered that, them before, uh, notably in. Uh, Riyadh at World Defense Show last year, so that's the Jari USB. It's already conducted sea trials and uh, weapons firing trials. What is new, however, uh, is that uh, CSSC was showcasing earlier an extra large unmanned underwater vehicle, so XL UUV. Uh, yeah, the image showed uh, flank array sonars as well as, as well as four torpedo tubes. So it's interesting to see that uh, China is working on XLUUVs as well and uh, is trying to export them.